If you look at the world map, then you must notice that almost all the tropical desert of the world are situated between 20 degree and 30 degree north and south latitudes in the world. And most of them situated on the western edge of the continent. Like Great Sandy and Gibson Desert of Australia, Thor Desert of India, Namibia and Kalahari Desert of Africa, Atacama Desert of South America, and Sonoran Desert of North America. All are situated on the western part of the continent. Have you ever thought why most of the tropical deserts are situated on the western edge of the continent? Today in this video, we are going to discuss about all the factors which are responsible for it. So let's begin. Equatorial region gets more heat energy throughout the year as vertical or direct sunlight falls on the equatorial region throughout the year. So air near the equatorial region becomes warm and light. Therefore, air expands and rises upward. So a low pressure zone develops near the surface in the equatorial region. Therefore, cold and heavy air flows from subtropical high pressure belts towards equatorial low pressure belts, which is known as straight winds. Due to earth rotation and Coriolis effect, these straight winds are deflected towards west in both hemispheres. It means straight wind blows from northeast to southwest in the northern hemisphere and from southeast to northwest in the southern hemisphere. So when trade winds moves across the ocean, they capture more moisture and when they reach in the eastern coast of the continent, huge amounts of rain occurs. So trade wind releases its maximum amounts of moisture in the eastern side of the continent. But when it reaches the western side of the continent, there is a few amount of moisture or no moisture left in the trade winds. So it is very hard to make rain on the western side of the continent, which maximizes aridity in this region that results the formation of the desert on the western side of the continent. Warm and light air that rises upward at the equator becomes cool and heavy. As all of you know that temperature decreases with the increase in altitude. Therefore, this cool and heavy air try to descend in the equatorial region. But due to warm air current, which is continuously moving upward from the equatorial low pressure belt and due to earth rotation, this cool and heavy air gets deflected in both hemispheres and descends around 20 to 30 degree north and south of the equator. Because of this, the air gets compressed and warm as it descends and thus moisture keeps descending that creates no rain and dry condition which results the formation of desert in this region. Presence of cold oceanic current along the western coast of the continent also responsible for the formation of desert. The cold oceanic currents cools the adjoining coastal land and leading stable atmospheric condition. The relative humidity is also less in this region which evaporates every drops of the moisture which somehow may reach in this region that results very less rain or no rain in this region. Due all these desert forms on the western side of the continent. Cold oceanic currents like Californian currents, Peruvian currents, Benguela currents, Canaris currents, West Australian currents all are responsible for the formation of desert on the western side of the continent. If there is no barrier on the way of moisture holding winds, then this moisture holding air can easily pass away from this region and for that no rain occurs in this region, which results the formation of desert. As an example, we can say about the third desert of India. Here, Aravalli mountain is situated parallel to the moisture holding prevailing winds that comes from the Arabian Sea. So, moisture holding winds can easily pass away from this region, which results no rain in this region that creates thaw desert in India. If there is mountain on the way of the moisture holding prevailing winds, then that mountain acts as a barrier. Therefore, moisture holding wind starts to move upward along the windward slope. After reaching a certain height, this air cools and condenses into clouds and creates heavy rain on the windward slope of the mountain. But when this wind crosses the mountain and reaches on the leeward side of the mountain, then a few amount of rain or no rain occurs. As this wind released, it's all the moisture on the windward side. And also, when this wind moves downward in the leeward side, air becomes warmer. So moisture holding capacity also increases. That's why leeward side gets only a few amount of rain or no rain. Atacama Desert situated on the western side of the Andes mountain from in this way, where Andes mountain acts as barrier of the moisture holding winds. Due to all this reason, most of the tropical desert forms on the western margin of the continent. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.